Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to do damage comparison on father with different weapons. Now before we begin, I would like to take a note of a couple of things at first. Number 1. The supports I will be using in this video are Bennett and Kazuha. Now my Bennett is C6 with an Aquila Favonia which provides 1202 flood attack buff at talent level 13. My Kazuha has 777 elemental mastery. Number 2. I would be using crit rate food to maintain my sanity. And number 3. I will be changing between a crit rate and a crit damage circlet, whatever required to maintain the balanced crit stats. So first we have is Crimson Moon Semblums, Arlequino's signature weapon. Now keep in mind that at the time of recording this video, my weapon was level 80 and at R1, so the damage number would be slightly lower as compared to what it could have been if the weapon was at level 90, if that makes sense. Next we have Staff of Homeless. If you want to replace Hu Tao with your father and you have a Staff of Homa lying around which you want to give your father then I have some news for you. It's actually really good on her. Now Staff of Homa provides much needed 20% HP buff and also converts your additional HP or overall HP to attack bonus which is really good for her because she scales up of attack and when you have lower than 50% HP which let's be honest if you don't dodge properly you will have she gains more attack so overall this is a great value for money. Next in line we have the deathmatch. My deathmatch was a refinement too so it's a very good weapon option if you really do not have any other option and for some reason you have no white tassel. Deathmatch if you are getting the battle pass is a solid option. And here are the damage numbers of my deathmatch. Hope you enjoy. It definitely gets better with higher refinements so I hope you keep that in mind. And here's a little showcase of deathmatch burst damage potential. Next we have Primordial Jade Wing Spear. A key thing to remember is that my Primordial Jade Spear is R3, so that makes a little bit of a difference. However, I was a little surprised with the results of Primordial Jade Wing Spear because at first, when I recorded the footage, my Primordial Jade Wing Spear did less damage than my Dragon Spin, which was kind of surprising. However, on checking back the footage later, I realized I wasn't able to create even a single hit. The next time I recorded the footage, my footage was corrupted, so here is just a showcase of the burst on Primordial Jade Wing Spear, and I will be putting up numbers on the screen, which with the help of math, I finally was able to figure out what the normal attack numbers would be. Next in line we have the Black Leaf Pole. Now my Black Leaf Pole is R1, and if you manage to save up some Star Glitter from the amount of wishes you do, you should be able to get this weapon. Keep it in mind that in this situation where we're just fighting a single enemy, the black lip pole passive does not trigger. So I really believe that in multiple enemy scenario, the black lip pole will definitely do more damage than this scenario. However, also it's very easy to build around with it because you get a ton of crit damage from it so you can easily run a crit rate circlet on Arlequino to meet your crit rate requirements. Next we have Dragon Spain. Now Dragon Spain is generally used for vaporized reactions however Arlequino's ICDs are kind of wacky because I wasn't exactly able to vaporize the first 3 normal attacks on her and then somehow I was surprisingly able to vape the 4th hit with 177.5% remaining burn of life and the lowest number of multiplier for 77,000 damage and yeah so I wouldn't exactly recommend Dragon Spain to anyone but it is definitely usable. And now finally we have the white tassel at R5. My personal favorite, the best F2B option available to the general father wanter. White tassel provides 48% normal attack damage bonus, however, because of a low base attack, it really requires you to run Bennett in your team. That being said, I will be taking white tassel's base damage as the standard for calculating the damage proportion on every other weapon. Keep in mind that all the damage showcases are done to the best of my abilities and could definitely be improved on. The main purpose of this video is to have a general idea on how better a certain weapon as compared to the other weapons. Alright guys, so here is the table spreadsheet 
of all the damage showcases and the comparison of the numbers that I found from my testing. A key thing to remember over here is that my white tassel is taken as the base for calculating the ratio of all the other weapons. Now, Crimson Moon Semblis or CMS was technically at R1 level 80 as compared to the other options who were at higher refinements and level 90. And because of that, I believe Staff of Oma is technically 1% better than CMS. However, keep this in mind, with similar levels and refinement ones, I think CMS would be about 5% better than Staff of Oma. So if you have any of the 5 star options, they're definitely a solid choice. If you do not have any of the 5 star options, I would personally stick to White Tassel R5 because it's such a great option. And also the burst is not used that much in the rotation, so White Tassel is a solid choice. Also, I do have a surprise for you guys, so just keep watching. Alright, I don't know if I forgot to mention this or not, but throughout the entire testing, my Arlequino's talents were level 1. So if you were wondering why the damage numbers are lower or higher, this is probably the reason. So let's have a look at what Arlequino at C0 R1 is actually capable of doing with higher level talents. Alright, I was pleasantly surprised by a little investment into the talents and she's already doing almost double the damage, which is quite surprising to be honest. So what does this mean then? The ratios will still remain the same, however, the damage numbers will definitely be much higher. Something like this for example. With that being said, we are finally reaching the end of this video. I hope this video was able to provide you at least a little bit of insight to make your decisions more easier when you're designing a weapon. And with that being said, if you have any further questions about Arlequino, her kit, how she functions, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, I stream most nights on Twitch where you can just ask me your questions directly while I'm streaming. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Everybody stand back! <laughs>